Another pet peeve. People keep calling me when I'm trying to do a video. I'm not that popular. I'm not. Why do you keep calling me when I'm trying to do a damn video? Anyway. But this other one, people can be mad all they want. This is strictly my opinion. And that's the beauty of this country. I can say whatever I want. I can feel however I want. I'm not knocking anybody for anything that they do. I'm not doing that. This is simply my opinion. Okay? Another pet peeve I have. This is a bonus one for today. These young people in gangs. Why? I don't get it. I think a lot of these kids think it's cute. They think it's cool. It's all cute and cool until you get shot the fuck up. Until one of your friends get shot the fuck up. Or... You get locked up or whatever it is. It's cute until that happens. Alright? Like, I just... I mean, if that's your thing, do it. it. I just don't get it. And I'm noticing a lot of young people are in gangs now. A lot of young people. Like, little kids. And I guess maybe that's how they start off. I really don't know. That's not my thing. But, I notice here that... Gang activity has picked up within the last, I'll give it maybe three years, two to three. Because I never, ever, and I've been here all my life, I've never, like, encountered anything as far as, um, gangs are related. Like, I've never encountered that. Like, I've been in the mall and had a group of teens, and I know they can't be anymore than maybe like 14, 15, something like that. Um, they're all standing around doing their little thing. I'm not going to put up no hand signs because I don't want no problems, okay? They all throwing up their little signs and they doing their little two-step. I'm just going to call it a little two-step. They doing all of that. And they're like in the group doing that. And it's just crazy to me. Like, you're young and this is fun for you. Now, if you're doing it for the sake of... You feel as though you don't have any family, you don't have any close friends. There are other ways to get into that or to find friends or find people who can feel like family. You don't have to go that route, you know. Again, that's my opinion, but it bothers me. I've even had one time this little girl, and I know she was a little girl, little girl, quote unquote, approach me because of something me and another friend see what I'm saying people call me like and then this message is I don't give a fuck about like you don't realize I'm, I'm serious like I'm talking something serious right now and, and you sending me messages with my Dumbass sidekick. That's another pet peeve. Dumbass sidekick. I'm granted I'm not getting rid of it. So maybe that makes me a dumbass. But um. I don't even know what the hell this message is. Back to what I was saying. So I was with another friend. And um. Basically all because we yelled out something. Across the street. To our other friends that we were departing from. This little girl and some other little girls tried to approach us. What? What you say? Huh? 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 Little girl, I wasn't even talking to you. Not, nothing I said was directed at you. So why are you coming at me? You, you that bold? Oh, you, you disrespected me? I wasn't even talking to your monkey ass. Why? Like, it's just like crazy to me. Like, it's these young kids who think it's so cute to be in a gang. It's not cute. Like, like I said, I get the whole family and friend as aspect of it. I get that. But you don't have to kill, rob, steal, beat motherfuckers' asses to have family and friends. And if they're making you do that, then maybe you should reevaluate who you're making your family and friends. And like I said, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. And maybe it's more to the gang life than that. And that's fine because I'm not really trying to educate myself on it. Like, 
I'm not really trying to know the ins and outs and everything. You know, I know what I know and whatever. But that's a pet peeve of mine. These young kids who don't even realize that there's so much more you could be doing with your life. Like, so much more. And, like, you're kind of ending your life. Like, very, very, very prematurely. Like, there's so many other things that you could do. You could be doing. And truthfully, now, like, I'm kind of off the subject of pet peeves because I'm just talking about this now. But, I'm sorry, something on my computer. But, I've actually thought about it and I'm not sure of what steps I'm going to take as of yet. But, I'm not the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not perfect. Um, I don't know everything. Um, but I do think that if given the opportunity, or if I make that opportunity for myself, I could possibly make, or come up with, or whatever, come up with something, a program for youth, those who, or troubled youth, you know, that's the title they put on everything, troubled youth, people, go, kids who are going down the wrong path, like, I want to kind of make kind of a little mentoring program for kids just so I could maybe show them what they what else they could be doing and because it's just what I do I'm an artist of course it would be involving art you know maybe showing people how to or the kids how to vent and get out their frustrations in a healthier manner whether it's through your drawings, your paintings, your sketches, your music, your poetry, whatever it is. I would like to, you know, that's that's a long-term, short-term, whatever kind of goal for me to start that kind of program for the youth. Like, to show them there's so much more than that. Now, I understand you come from different backgrounds and different um, neighborhoods. And I just want young people to realize that you can come out of that and become a better person and not have to go to a gang to um what's the word I'm looking for I don't know the word I'm looking for now I lost it but you can do so much more with yourself you can find a better way you know